Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'll be reviewing this. This is Tim Hedda's TH051 Set A and B Upgrade Kit for Legacy Tarn. Special thanks to TF Safari for providing this kit for me to review. I'll put a link in the description below where you can find this kit along with a discount code. So the kit comes in a box and there is quite a lot of stuff. So let's uh, get it all out here. As I said earlier, this is the full set uh, parts A and B. So there is quite a lot of things to take out. Just gonna get them all out of their little bags. Oh yeah, as you can see, there's quite a lot of things here. First of all, you get these gap fillers. Um, they are 3D printed. Ironically, I didn't think he had too many gaps, but as you can see how small these fillers are, um, I guess they're gonna fill up just the tiny little things around him, which I am not sure where they are. I know uh, there's some for the feet down here, but uh, yeah, we'll get to work on those, but you do get these 3D printed gap fillers, which are painted. And these are the ones for the bottom of the feet. Just to zoom in, you can see they are 3D printed in white and then painted. You also get these uh, fillers, which I believe cover the hands in tank mode. Also 3D printed and painted. You get a chainsaw. I think this is the handle for it. This is painted silver and 3D printed as well as this is also painted. Little handle here. And I guess some kind of extension for a cannon or something. We'll see. So let's start with the gap fillers. So the robot doesn't have a lot of gaps. In fact, the gap fillers uh, for the robot is really just here for the feet. Uh, the rest of the cap fillers are for a uh, part that I wasn't really expecting, but for the gun. As you can see, a lot of gaps here on the underside of the gun. So all these are basically gap fillers, one for this gun and one for the other. So basically they're on a sprue. You're just going to have to snip them with some flush cutters. You can see there's a line that matches the line here on the actual gun. I just wish it was a little bit more snug. Oh, there you go. I guess if you press it in more, it gets snug. And this one too. Yeah, you can see that there's a line that matches up. Okay, so let's put this screw aside and finish up this gun first. And you can see here how it aligns with that part. Yeah, this one is very loose. Okay, I have it all in. Um, this one, for some reason, is too loose. I may have to add some nail polish to, to thicken it up. It's probably because I did cut it at the sprue, but I thought this was a flashing. I, I guess it was there to um, keep it in place. So just be a little bit careful on that. Color matches pretty well. It's not an exact match, but it's close enough. I'm gonna get the other gun done. So I got the second gun done and it's actually a little bit worse <laughs> than the first. Um, as you can see, most of them all fall out, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to have to either glue them in. I'm gonna get the last of the fillers in, which is basically the feet. And for me, this is probably the most important filler to actually fit. Uh, the gun, I honestly wasn't really expecting that. I didn't even see it in the pictures at TF Safari when I ordered it. But um, this is the one that's probably the most important and hopefully it fits well. So basically plug it in on the bottom. There you go. This one fits very nicely. And let's do the other side. There you go, very nice fit. At least those fillers fit very well. Now the rest of the upgrades are basically for the weapons. This one actually goes in here. So you, well, you do have that filler and I'm gonna have to take it out. It can fit in here like so. That actually fits a lot better as an extra handle for when you use this extension. 
and then combine it with the other gun. You have this really long weapon that he can hold. Let's open up the hand a bit. Like so. And there you go. Now the other weapon that he comes with is this chainsaw and he can just plug it into the handle here. And he can either put it on his arm or hold it. So if it's on his arm, he can plug in right here, like so. Or he can put it in his hand, like so. Now while this uh, long uh, gun is pretty cool, I honestly prefer Tarn with the arm cannon instead. So let's see if this fits well. You can see the handle is over there, so it folds up nicely, I guess. Or you can have it like this. I don't know, which way is better. But I do prefer Tarn with this look instead. Now the last of the upgrades are these arm covers for when he's in tank mode. These basically attach to the lower part of his legs here and fold in like so. Let's get the other side and there you go. Very cool transformation mechanism and it's pretty clean on the robot mode which is nice. All right, let's get him transformed into his tank mode uh, to check out how the kit works there. Here is Tarn in his tank mode with the upgrade kit. And for the most part, it, it works. Um, you know, I, the these panels here that that's supposed to cover the arms, honestly, I, I think it makes it look worse um, like this. And if I'm doing it wrong, uh, let me know in the comments, but this is how I see it on the picture at uh, TF Safari's website. It it just, yeah, it's just like putting paper in front of your face and saying you're covering your face, but it's not really um, doing anything for me, to be honest. Um, everything else kind of works. You can put the, the saw here or the chainsaw here. This uh, piece can go here, but it, it kind of inhibits... The rotation of the turret um but yeah i gotta be honest i mean th this is the part i was looking forward to the most because i thought it'd be cool to have a nice cover but in person I'm, I'm not you know i'm probably gonna take this out i'm not gonna use it um i think this is a lot cleaner to be honest than having this hang down like like that it's like just draping down um the other parts the are, are okay uh, the the feet fillers are nice. Um, like I said, though, in my review of Tarn, overall, this figure was a pretty tight figure. I didn't have a lot of issues with it. Um, I, I mainly uh, got the kit because of this, because I thought it'd be cool to have a much cleaner tank mode. But uh, I don't know. I don't think it's really doing it for me. And then there's some issues with the fillers not going in all the way. It's easily fixable, but uh, I guess uh, somewhere in the 3D printing process, something went off and it couldn't uh it didn't uh, fit properly anyway that is it for this video let me know what you guys think in the comments below and thanks for watching